Welcome again to the Bim Smith Winter Wonderland Revit Family Competition. I'm Ben Gluns, the CEO and founder of Bim Smith, and we're thrilled to have you all back for our fifth annual competition. One thing that's really great about the Bim Smith Winter Wonderland competition is the amount of time, effort, and skill that went into all the submissions. It's really fun looking at all the submissions, um, getting a play with all the different content. Really great to see the amount of effort I think everyone put in. It's so exciting to see what the what everyone comes up with every year. This year we had over 50 submissions. It was a record-breaking year in terms of the number of submissions and uh, never disappoints the amount of creativity and time and frankly, just amazing Revit skills that get put on display in this competition. Uh, this year we're joined by another group of uh, very esteemed judges that will be here with me today and we're thrilled to dig into what you've all built. Thank you for the time that you put into this and uh, let's dig in. Third place is Tamara Cortez with the Mexican perforated paper flags. I was really excited about this because we have these all over my city. I live in South Texas in San Antonio and we recently had these up in our courtyard at our office and uh, simplicity, but actual practicality and attention to detail for these is uh, what really swayed us to give this the third place award. Second place uh, award, um, this is gonna go to Guess Santa's Weight by Darrell Ray Garcia. It's a detail component that had dynamo behind the scenes in order to actually play with sliders and mess with Santa's weight as well as being able to stack presents to guess it correctly. We love this uh, for its creativity. We thought that it had a lot of interesting other uses perhaps for things like on a Revit start screen or be able to communicate with the team or just provide a fun activity for everybody to be able to mess with. Um, and you know there was a lot of little intricate detail as well with shadows uh, in filled regions for this detailed component that showed a lot of care uh, in, in, in this submission. So we, re we really enjoyed playing with it as well as looking at the craft of the game. Yeah, I'd also add that the opportunity to use this in other ways of being a detail component and having a dynamo player to maybe adjust things like office standards related to window to wall ratio or embodied carbon metrics are, are pretty enticing. First prize winner for this year's competition is Simon Yu with the Lego House. Uh, this was particularly impressive and jumped off the page to all the judges, uh, getting over 650 unique likes. It was also the crowd favorite uh, on LinkedIn, and so very impressive social media reach. Um, one of the things that particularly jumped out for me on a personal basis, I have a young son at home this Christmas, and. Uh, it was nothing but Legos all of uh, all of Christmas break. So you know the the idea of being able to hang out and play Legos over Christmas is is very creative. But from a Revit perspective, all the Legos were drawn to scale. It was a kit of parts where each of the individual pieces could be brought in, and the the creativity of creating a Lego scene and uh, having that to scale that you could put into a render or um, even design something else using that kit of parts, uh, very creative. So we were, we were blown away by the attention to detail and uh, the scalability of that solution. So uh, well done, Simon. With that too, I would just add that, yeah, we love the, the detail and all the, the little parametric uh, pieces and the ability to change them, even changing the head rotation of the scale figures and, and being able to kind of manipulate things and, and work with them. It was really great to see that. Enjoyed enjoyed reviewing the Christmas Lego house for sure. Yeah, I would add as well, that was a really great solution. Uh, it was complex, but simple at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, clearly it looked like it could have taken a lot of time, but it seems pretty obvious given the sophistication that, uh, that, that knowing what they're doing and creating this, that it didn't take as long as it would look. 